Hey everyone! In this video I'm going to be unboxing two mystery boxes from Fair Games. They were $16.99 each, so I'm just going to say $17 each. And I bought two. Their top grails are Captain Hook, Pain and Panic, um, Hades, the chase version, so he's like super full on red. There is Jeffrey, the giraffe that is flocked. There is um, Collector's Corpse, Marvel, Venom. There is a glow-in-the-dark Twinkie the Kid, Sora from the 2018 convention, <clears throat> Venomized Loki, there is Iron Man Jeffrey, the flocked Louie, John Wick Chase, King Ding Dong, um, someone from Predator, Pikachu from Target, Unmasked Black Panther, and something Frost. From the flash <clears throat> so yeah I finally got these and again I got two so this is my I think it's my first yeah my first time ordering from this company I want to say based on someone else's video that they do come in pop to pop pop protectors like the soft ones but I could be wrong so hopefully I get something good because for um, the video that I watched um, Sorry, I'm reading a message from a friend because <laughs> I'm using my phone to record. Anyways, so um, from the previous video that I saw of someone that got the same box, they actually scored some cool Halloween related Funko Pops, which were, I want to say Jason and also Billy from Saw, you know, the one that rides a little, the bike. <clears throat> so I really hope that if I don't get any of the grails um, that I get a cool horror pop because I am into horror. In a, in a way, some sort of, yeah. So here's how the box looks. And I'm just going to pull it out. So in three, two, one. Okay. Whoa, this is really cool. This is Captain Rex. Um, it's a ball convention exclusive from Star Wars. So that's pretty awesome. He is a neat looking pop. So let me just see how much he is worth. So usually when I look up <clears throat> prices of Funko Pops, I look on Stashpedia. And it also comes on an app and also you can look him up on the website as well. But if I'm not able to find the pop that I'm looking for, because it's not listed on there, because sometimes they're not up to date, um, I actually go on Pop Price Guide. So yeah, so awesome. We actually made our money back. He is actually $32. So that is freaking cool. So I'm not a really big Star Wars fan. I know of the movies. I've watched all of them. And um, I just can't really remember. But it looks like this might be from... The TV series? I don't know. I'm not sure if this character actually ever appears in any of the movies. I'm not really up to date, actually, now that I think about it. I haven't watched The Last Jedi and the Obi-Wan movie that came out, but I heard that people didn't really like that movie, even the ones who are big Star Wars fans. So, anyways, that's really, that's really cool. That is awesome. And it does come in as soft protector, too. <clears throat> so here is the last one. So that one wasn't pictured on the picture, so I guess the other ones are more highly sought after, as in like higher price girls, but I think that's a good, that's a decent pop to pull out, considering I paid $16.99 for the pops, but that doesn't include tax. So overall I, I paid $40, so it was about $20 per pop, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Here is the next box. So, yeah. They all come in pop protectors, from what I believe, but don't quote me. They're nicely wrapped. The boxes look really mint condition. And in three, two, one. Okay. I don't know who this character is. I don't watch Overwatch. Or actually, it's a game. I don't, I don't play Overwatch. So here's the side of the box. The other pops in this set. And then the other side of the box. But I do like the pop protectors, so really nice. Like I said, they come in good condition. <clears throat> and let's see how much she's worth. I want to say that she's not worth too much. 
yeah so this one is eight dollars so we did take a loss on this one but overall we did break even because if you add these together they do um equivalent forty dollars so that's what i spent in total for shipping for taxes and for the funko pops themselves so i want to say this this was good this was a good pool so i'm definitely going to consider keeping him in my collection or maybe trading him for something that I really want and this one this is probably gonna be a giveaway to sell or I don't know I'll, I'll figure it out yeah so these are my pools so I'm not sure if I'm going to invest in this box again I'm trying to cut down on which companies I invest in because of the kinds of pulls I've seen in other people's videos as well as I'm also trying to cut down on spending because the holiday season is coming and I want to make sure that I get the gifts that I want to get for family and friends that mean a lot to me so yeah so this was a very short video I'm trying to cut down my video lengths because my past videos have been pretty lengthy but anyways, so if you like this video, make sure that you click the like button. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos. I do a lot of these mystery Funko Pop unboxings as well as other cool things on my channel. So you should definitely check it out. Also make sure that you follow me on my different social media accounts. The links are going to be on the bottom or in the description. Also, I can link or I will link um, Fair Games information, which include their Instagram, also their website. So you can also find out more about their mystery boxes that are coming out. I don't know how frequently they come out with mystery boxes, considering this is their 12th one. Or um, if they had come out um, with some recently, because I'm trying to lay off looking at mystery boxes right now. Because I'm still waiting for, I think, two or three more mystery boxes. So yeah. So anyways... Thanks for watching and bye.